Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover how to perform ETL in AWS Glue using Python Shell. AWS Glue is a fully managed ETL service from AWS. It offers various environments to perform ETL tasks. We have the option of AWS Glue Spark or we can use Python Shell jobs. The latter can be more economical option for processing small or medium data sets. Also, if your team is well versed in Python, then it's a no brainer. Python shell jobs are compatible with Python version 2 and 3. And the runtime comes pre configured with most popular libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, and others. In Glue, we can install other additional libraries that our scripts depend on. The prerequisite There are a few prerequisites for Python shell. We need an S3 bucket to store our scripts. Plus, we will need AWS CLI installed and configured on the developer machine. You can download the AWS CLI for your operating system from this URL. I will leave the link in the description below. Once installed, you can configure this with access and secret keys. And we can confirm if AWS CLI is properly installed by issuing AWS dash dash version command. If installed, this will return the AWS CLI version. For Python shell, the first step is to generate a Python wheel package containing the required libraries. So let's open the terminal and create a brand new folder. I have named it as AWS Glue Python Shell. I'll go ahead and open this location in VS Code. Inside this folder, we will create a file called setup.py. In this file, we import the setup from setup tools and inside the setup, we provide the name of the wheel file and list of the required libraries. In this example, I am only using psycho pg2. So let's go ahead and save this file. So I'll open up a command prompt and in the terminal, we enter Python and name of the file, which is setup.py and bdist under wheel. This command will generate a folder called dist and a wheel file with the name that we have provided inside this folder. So let's go ahead and create our ETL script. We will create this inside the dist folder and I'll call this file etl.py. This file will carry out all the actions that you perform in an ETL. At the top, we import the library psychopg2 and using psychopg2, we create a connection to Redshift database. And to the connect method, we supply the database name, host, port, user, and password. We will use the copy command to copy S3 data into Redshift table. We invoke the copy command, then specify the table name and the columns. And in the from clause, we provide the S3 object name. Then we supply the credentials in the form of I am role. Make sure this role is associated with Redshift cluster. Since this is a comma delimited file, we'll provide comma as the delimiter and we will skip the first row as our file contains header in the first row. Then we create a cursor from the con variable and execute a truncate table command to remove the existing data from this table. Then we execute the copy command and commit both of these commands. Once we are done, it's always a good idea to close the cursor and the connection. And at the end, we print a message that we are done executing the copy command. So this is our example ETL script. This will load data from an S3 object into a Redshift table. We are ready to deploy this script. Let's copy our script to an S3 bucket. So we have two folders in our bucket. One is called lib and one is called script. We will copy the wheel file to the lib folder and the ETL script to the scripts folder. So back in the terminal, we will issue a copy command. It will be AWS S3 CP, that's copy, and then the file name and the file location on S3. First, we copy the wheel file and once we hit enter, this will copy the file to S3 location. We can confirm it by going into the S3 bucket and refreshing the page. Our file is copied to S3. 
Similarly, we can copy the etl.py to the scripts folder in S3 bucket. Okay, our scripts are present on AWS environment. Now we will go ahead and create a job in AWS Glue console. So let's click on add a job. We will provide a name for this job. I will call it ETL Python shell job. And we need to provide this job an IAM role. I will select an existing role here. And under type, we select Python shell and we will check that we will provide an existing script for this job. Under the S3 path, let's click on the folder icon and navigate to the script location. And it's the ETL Python shell test bucket and we will navigate to the scripts folder. Let's hit select. Under security and configuration, we will set the Python library path. Once again, let's click the folder icon and navigate to the lib folder and this time around, we will select the wheel file. Okay, let's go ahead and save our job. It will go ahead and bring up the script. Here we can review it to make sure everything is in order. So I'll go ahead and update the host password and provide the actual IAM roles ARN in this script. I'll go ahead and save this and our job is saved. However, prior to running it, let's make sure that the table we are trying to populate exist in the database. In this case, it does not. So let's go ahead and quickly create it. So I'll copy paste the script here and execute the script. I'll issue a select statement against it, which we can use later to verify the data. So back in AWS Glue, let's select the job and run it. The job is queued and we can select it again and it tells us that this job is running. We can click on the refresh icon to see the updates. It can take a while depending on the size of the data that you're trying to process. Okay, our job has completed successfully. If you want to, we can go ahead and review the logs under this URL. Uh, let's go ahead and verify the data. So we'll head to Redshift console and execute the select statement against this table. The select statement returns data. So we have successfully loaded the S3 data into Redshift using Python shell job in AWS. So let's go ahead and move back to the logs. In the logs, we can see that we execute the wheel file. It downloads the Psycho PG2 and installs this library. The complete code is available on GitHub. Feel free to check it out. This is all in Python shell in AWS for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.